Welcome back to Walsall Fan TV. We're on the way to Tranmere. Um, got Lee, Tim, Lily. Say hello, Lily. Hello. Now Stephen today, and uh, Lee's driving. Good one, Lee. And uh, we're looking for three points. So uh, we'll see what we do. Right? What do you reckon today? Three points. Three points. Three points. What do you reckon, boys? Three points. Three points. Three points, definitely. We're hoping so. Right then. Right then, we're here, um, pre-match entertainment and a warm-up. Um, Lee has team news. So, we've got Evan starting in goals. That's a shock. Shock, shock that is. <laughs> um, must have been the hardest to get. Uh, and then we look like we go to our normal back three of White, Daniels and Monk, with uh, Gordon as left wing back, probably Knowles as our right wing back, and then we've got Kinsella and Conley sitting in the midfield. Okay. And then we've got Maddox and Johnson playing a little bit forward, maybe both going as number 10, with Johnson up top on his own. So Maddox and Johnson? Together, yeah. So I think we might be seeing the old box formation in midfield. Ah, so interesting again, one. Could be an interesting one. And then subs, we've got Wilkinson, Williams, James Taylor, McEntee, Allen, Lowe, Wilmot. So we're going to have to ah. have another week to wait for Matt. Appearance. Okay, so up front he's playing uh, Johnson and who? I think it'll probably be Johnson on his own, but I we'll see both Maddox and Hutchinson sort of interchanging and going into that sort of number 10 or a full sort of number 9. That's an, sort interesting, of role. That's an interesting one, not quite what I thought. Um, he's, maybe Knowles is coming back up front. Could be, could be Knowles could be, uh, playing up front, it would be interesting. I think there's a bit of fluidity in that starting 11. Because I think, apart from obviously the goalkeeper and the back three, we could probably see a bit of movement in the midfield, and obviously Johnson yeah. will be up, up top on his own. So interesting. I think it could be a bit of. Um, I think obviously Flynn's had quite a few things on his mind. I think there's a few things he can't get off his mind at the moment. So I think it's just um, probably giving Tranmere probably a few things to think about as well. He's got he's got us through things to think about, well, hasn't he? Yeah. I, th I think he'll have time there spinning around. He's got us spinning. Right then, so Jamil Matt, we're gonna have to wait to see him. But um, right then, let's get in the ground. Well, here we are, the mighty Tramia. Right then, here we are. We've arrived. Join the pain, joy only. That's what we're looking for. Another big game for Warsaw. Um, it's a run of six weeks of tough fixtures. Um, let's see what we can do today. Many same bright stars from Warsaw. Uh, no clear chances as uh, as yet, but uh, looking good. Uh, got a hutch on the ball. Get in there. Thirty minutes gone. I am um, uh Looking the better, really, to be honest. Uh, Warsaw not really connecting up front. Uh, Maddox playing alongside uh, or just off DJ. Um, much rather see uh, Williams or uh, Douglas James Taylor there, really, to be honest. <clears throat> but a uh, chance here for Warsaw. Oh. Right. Right, Comley. Gordon, that's coming back to the keeper. And that sums us up really. Not quite firing at the minute. 40 minutes gone. Uh, Warsaw not really stamping themselves on it at the minute. Uh, Danny Johnson looking a bit exposed up front. Uh, we got um, Maddox and Hutch 
Her ideally supposed to be joining him up front, but he, he just looks too isolated at the minute. I think uh, second half we could see uh, some changes. Right then, half time. Warsaw, uh, Tramir nil, Warsaw nil. Um, not been great from Warsaw really. Um, DJ on his own up front. Maddox and Hood should be joining him, but it's just not happening. Comley as a second CDM. Um, it's not working. Needs to change at half time, I think, Lee. What do you reckon? Um, yeah, I agree with what you say there with Comley being the second CDM not working. It probably would work, but every time we get the ball, also we're like trying to chip it into an area where there isn't a Warsaw player, and even if there is, we're not even winning the first end and we're not picking up the second ball so I can't understand why we're trying to chip it that way if we've got both Tommy and Pinto there in the midfield why well, can't we keep it on the floor and string the passes together and, and get the attacks and get Gordon and Knowles out wide and then swing the ball in but for we've some reason it. we're just sort of trying to chip it and then sort of hoping for something to happen instead of making it happen but I think having, having just one striker up front and DJ is not the quickest as we know I think it's unfair of him really he's, he's not going to do that but we've seen this from Mike Flink before. He sort of plays it nice and tight first half and then comes out and uh, goes for it second half. So I think that's probably what's going to happen. What do you think? Possibly. Or he might give it another five, ten minutes. I think the, the, the personnel we've got on the, on the field at the moment, they could do it, but I think you need Maddox and Hutchins to be more up along with DJ, or at least one of them. Yeah, yeah. Especially if we're trying to chip the ball in. I mean... For some reason, we're just chipping it in for no reason. I mean, we're not stringing enough passes together. Yeah, so, we had a we had a decent first 15 minutes, but since then, Tranmere have looked the better team, yeah. more likely to score. But uh, Warsaw so far have uh, defended really well. But well, Tranmere aren't that good, so. No, we need to we need to do more second half and uh, pose some more problems. Yeah. But uh, they are facing down this end, so we might get some good coverage of some goals. We hope. Definitely. <laughs> right then, changed half time. Williams and Wilmot on for Hutch and uh, Tommy Knowles. That's a surprise, Tommy Knowles going off. <laughs> Gordon on the corner. Oh, smack it in. In 70 minutes, Robbie Wilmot free kick. What can you do with this? Big money, man, fighter. Come on, Robin. Come on. Best cross in the league. He got his head on it. You can probably tell what's happened. Goal on 75 minutes for Warsaw gives us the edge. Um, Andy Williams instrumental. Um, smart head on his shoulders. Tell 
Could change everything. Manny Mont caught on the one and one, and uh, he gets his second yellow. Oh dear! Second yellow, so I think maybe one game. But uh, that's um, he's been so brilliant for Warsaw. Uh, he'll be a loss for the next game, Swindon. Oh. 15 minutes plus injury. Um, it's going to be a tough 15 minutes. Johnson goes off. Hopefully, that's not his last appearance. But if it is, that would be uh, some finish for him. Oh dear! And uh, on comes uh, Joe Lowe for his debut. Uh, Maddox is going off. Connor Wilkinson's on for Maddox. Come here, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're into the six minutes of injury time, and now uh, Warsaw, despite ten men, we're having another go. Throw the dice for Warsaw. Uh, throw comes in. Oh. oh, that's it. Hard fought game for Warsaw. We thought we'd got a smash and grab to grab the point. But a superb free kick um, evens it up. And um, can't really argue with a point there. Um, point away, never a bad result. It'll be interesting now to see if Danny Johnson comes out and says goodbye to the fans. Yeah, tough game that. Um, Trampier not didn't particularly look good, but uh, they were solid and uh, got the deserved equaliser in the end. Also didn't quite do enough. I'd like to have seen um, two up front for the majority. Comley sitting in there was a bit too defensive for me. But um, in my clip we trust. Well, it's just finished, um, as you heard, Warsaw got a point. Um, not a great performance, really, was it, from Warsaw today? No, not overall, but I suppose getting the point in the end is, is more than what some people would say we deserve, but it just shows how far this team under Flynn's come, really, because yeah, five yeah, months yeah. ago we would have got nothing out of that, but we got the point. We thought we'd snatched it on the 75 minutes, um, but then, of course, uh, Manny Month. That second yellow and the uh, excellent free kick from them, really, in fairness. Yeah. And um, could have been much worse, but also held on uh, and got the point. Um, players of note, um, first of all, I'd like to say Maddox, I thought was very disappointing. I don't know what you thought. Um, especially in the first half, he, he was disappointing, but I think in the second half, he, he grew into the game more and he. he he was more influential in the second half. He was playing the ball a lot better. He was getting involved more. So that little bit of quality he has got starts showing more in the second half. Yeah. We want to... 
I wanted to see two up front, really. I think Danny Johnson was far too exposed on think, his own. I think, I think when Williams came on, you could see he changed the game for us totally. Cause obviously, and Williams, Williams was good, wasn't he? Yeah, because then, then their defenders had more people to pick up. Instead of just having Johnson there, they That's had Johnson and Williams to worry about. And he was putting himself about and winning them little... Headers flick on. And it was his sort of ball that set up Johnson's chance. Yeah, that's, it, that's it. It was it was a good touch, good touch through from Williams. Yeah, um, he's up there for man of the match for me. Um, Manny Mont, if he hadn't got his two bookings and gone sent off again, he was excellent. Yeah. Some good, some good saves from Armin Evans. Yeah. Um, man of the match. That's a tough one, really. Um, we got two. We got we can give two. We got Lee Moore Winders man of the match and SNS Steelstock man of the match. So um, I'm going to go. Four. This is a very tough one. I think um, Andy Williams, to be honest, for his second half performance. Um, what do you reckon? Um, I'm going to go overall for the first half and second half. I would say probably Kinsella just about. Kinsella. He was our default last season, wasn't he? Every time we weren't sure, we just went for Kinsella. But I'm saying that as well because he had a few good knocks. I mean, Tramier. No, he, he got battered a bit, didn't he? Tramier weren't afraid of putting the foot in and he had a few knocks but as Kinsella is Kinsella guess what he bounced back up That's right it, back yeah. at it uh, Com, uh, Tom, uh, Tom Knowles did quite well I was surprised when he went off to half time yeah I think I think he's definitely injured he, he, again in that first half he was getting a bit of rough treatment from the prime year and he had two or three knocks on him and I think they just had to take him off because I think he was basically injured yeah and uh, Gordon as well he had some heavy knocks Not, yeah. it was a tough encounter today um, Walsall obviously just getting the point but um, Manny Month going to be missing for a game that's going to be a, bit, a big loss for us as well because he's a big player for us isn't he he is but we have now got options in that back three so again he, he will be a lot uh, missing a, a loss but we have got them options so at least we have got them options for somebody else to come in now and stake a claim that's it right then chins up it's a point away never a bad thing right then Walsh Fan TV thanks for watching the joy and the pain bit of both today <laughs> yeah, but we enjoy it, don't we? <laughs> we do. <laughs> Cheers.